Today's role is... <laughs> It takes time to make these videos, so if you watched more than one of my videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'm really excited um, to share this with you because we had a purple belt female visit our gym, and I've I love rolling with upper belt women. It's almost like when you're a female in jujitsu, it feels like. You know you're kind of like training and you don't really see a lot of females like upper belt females so it's like when you come across one you know it's kind of like <laughs> you know you see them in the distance and you're just like <gasps> and you know it's like it's just really cool so i was very excited to roll with an upper belt female because it's just fun you know what i'm saying you just have like a new partner and like a new play buddy you know what i'm saying and as with any upper belt you know i have a lot of respect for anybody that spends a significant amount of time like developing skill that is you know that just shows a lot of character so it's always fun to see what somebody else has in their has in their toolbox uh, so let's let's get this show on the road i also have more exciting news um next saturday i am going to be taking my um last test for becoming a purple belt so wait would you please like throw on yeah okay. so yeah explain to gary yeah i wasn't sure what we're doing sure okay. so give and take um the flow it's like you when you warm up yeah. you want to be using things from the curriculum so you're not going up like a flying arm bar and like, you know, scissor takedowns or anything like that. You're just trying to use things that you that we have in writing. Okay. Yeah. Sense? And there's a give and take to it. So like you can kind of go for something and just kind of go back and forth. You're not going to go too crazy. The idea too, guys, that we want to build it. Oh, so you had it embroidered? Yeah, oh. it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of embroidery. <laughs> so one thing I've told Crystal is that once she gets her fourth stripe, I'm going to give her a purple belt. She is there. She just has been holding off on testing for as long as humanly possible. And today she tested for two stripes. She did her second and third stripe test, so she's getting awarded two stripes today. So she has one more for that fourth. Because what do we do every fourth stripe? Shock tank. Shock Thank you. So that's kind of cool how, you know, maybe next week, if all goes according to plan, um, I'm going to be a purple belt, you know? <laughs> oh, wow. I think I'm ready. I think, I think it's time, you know? All the blue belts have been calling me a sandbagger for like the past year and a half. So let's see what happens when I'm, you know, when we go head to head another purple belt. So say good night to the black guy. Go on. The last time you're gonna see a black guy like this again. Let me tell you. Man coming up the bench while I'm coming up the court fully drenched. Right away I go for inside control. So my hands are on her biceps and I'm trying to control her head. I go for a snap down and she goes right into playing X guard. So right now she is going for some X guard sweeps. I'm holding the back of her head in order to not get swept. But gang gang got the hammer and the wrench. I pull up in that quarter milli up the lot. Oh now she's trying to be And right here I am stepping on her hair. And I lift my foot up because I did not want her to spin around and get her hair ripped out. We don't want we don't want homegirl to be going home bald. <laughs> like that's <laughs> so I remember when I first started jujitsu, I was like, well, why do we have to, you know, how can somebody rip out your hair? And that's exactly how that stuff happens. So right here, I step in to try to grab a Kimura um, and she goes right into hooking my leg. Anytime somebody has a hook on your leg, number one is to remove the hook. So you could also um, do a toe pick <laughs> if you want. Uh, but right here, I remove the hook um, so then that way she can't set up her game. And I step out. I 
anytime you want to defend against a sweep, you can always do that step out move. And again, I'm holding the back of her head in order to not get swept as an attachment point. She is working to clear my hand. That way she can go into X guard and then from X guard, she can access the back. So that's exactly what she just did right here. Now I'm thinking right here like, okay, in order for somebody to have back control, they typically need to have a seatbelt around your upper body. So I'm keeping my upper body away from her so she can't control my upper body. That way I can turn inside guard. And at the same time, I was swimming my top leg in. That way I could then transition to be inside of her guard instead of her having back control. And here we have some people <laughs> getting in the shot. And she was um, explaining how like, she was like, oh, that was you know a good move because I had to reach up to get back control and that allowed the time for the transition. So here I'm going for a knee slice pass and she does a, a very good job of retaining guard. So anytime that you know, you're rolling, if you can get a knee in or both knee, knees in, this is typically called like a knee shield, uh, you're doing great. Here, I know I'm in big danger. Anytime I have my arm elbow deep between the legs of a, an upper bell, like, no. <laughs> Anytime I'm, you know, elbow deep and a leg is over my head, I know I am in danger. So I rip my arm out and posture up. That way I can avoid getting arm barred here. From here I go for an over underpass. This is a pivotal moment right here because look at my leg. If I can get my leg over her leg, I have pass guard and she does a great job of hooking my leg and preventing the over underpass from happening. I think first but surely finish last, last. lift up my leg and look and see we have we have some people rolling right next to us you know anytime you're rolling it's it's always good to have situational awareness that way you don't end up colliding with somebody else and get kicked in the mouth and right here i i go for an arm bar um so i get my leg over her head and i'm going for a sweep and she does a great job of retracting her arm. Now let's, let's go back because this exchange is super interesting. If I would have had, do you see my bottom leg? If I would have put my bottom foot in her far hip, that would have prevented her getting a knee over and I would have gotten the arm bar. Also, what she did is she had great arm bar defense by retracting her arm. And do you see that bend? So her bicep and the structure of her bone is preventing me from getting her elbow up and past my hips. And that's, that's great arm bar defense. So a lot of things happened in such a short amount of time. The 
we're both going for leg attacks. Um, I'm trying to heel hook her so she, uh, she has her legs in a figure four. That is a, a common defense against getting any type of leg attack. So your knee bars, ankle locks, heel hooks. So here I have a heel hook and she is defending by gripping onto my forearm. So I bail on the heel hook and right now she is trying to attack my leg. So I stand up and put all my weight into that heel because they can't heel hook you if you if they can't have access to your heel. So that's a very simple way to defend against heel hooks. So she didn't want to be next to the wall to roll. I, I personally don't mind if I'm next to the wall. It's, it's helpful for MMA because you know you're in a cage and you're going to be up against the wall probably sometime. Oh, this is probably like the funniest moment right here. So we're in a leg entanglement and as you know the all of the chokes in jiu-jitsu is they're based off of a, a primary principle which is blocking your carotid arteries uh, so i just went ahead and, and murder choked her but murder, murder choked her with my with like a triangle that way it just cut off right here because you know why not it's fun murder choking just brings me such joy as as you can tell um, and here the round is over. We did go for another round. So let me know if you want me to edit that. Um, so this, it's a Sunday morning right now. So I need to edit, finish editing this and study some more uh, because we, we have that purple belt test coming up and I you know need to brush up on about 300 moves, give or take. So wish me luck if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, you know, keep on training. You're doing great. Um, yeah.
how they think it all come so easy But get it while you here, boy Cause all that hype don't feel the same next year, boy Yeah And I'll be right here in my spot with a little more cash than I already got Tripping off you cause you had your shot With my skin tan and my hair long and my pants have been so patient Me and 40 back to work but we still smell like a vacation Hate your rumors, hate the book, these qualifications I'm just feeling like the throne is for the taking All I care about is money in the city that I'm from I'ma sip until I feel it, I'ma smoke until it's done I don't really give up my excuses that I'm young And I'm only getting older, somebody should have told you I'm on one, yeah, on one Okay, we poppin' champagne like we won a championship game Look like I got on a championship ring Cause I ball hard, no be by Shut it down, leave with a bra, check for an edge, post up, fans up a circle to block, all the cops just the rock in your area, post up, distribute you to the block, freeway, move the rocks in your area, yeah, yeah, yeah. try to shut me down, cops try to shut me down, haters wanna hit me up, but my clock carry heavy rounds, that carry heavy rounds, packed in a Chevy truck, but you better bring me along, before I cop that truck, on you and your boys, I have like some to talk, on you and your mom, back to the song, since when it's up on me and the boys, I need a seat. Bring your 